Hello everyone, this is the IFC Architect speaking, and today we are going to do a simple but essential tutorial. We're going to create a custom title block. So we're going to go through a few steps, and I'm going to make some assumptions that you already have a title block of sorts to work with. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the existing title block in the uh, Blendivum templates folder, and we're going to copy our title block onto that and then save that as our own version. And I'm just gonna do some light editing, but besides that, it's going to be quite straightforward. It's all gonna happen in Inkscape, basically. To install BlenderBim or Blender, check the installation videos in the description. Please update your BlenderBim to the latest build I'm using found on my channel about page. My layout very simply has the properties on the right-hand side and the outliner on the left-hand side. Please make sure that you've got your snaps enabled, which just allow you to easily um, model things and move them around and make sure that your move gizmo, this little object here, is uh, selected. Control Z, Control Z. You can follow what I'm doing with screencast keys in the bottom left. Okay, cool. Let's get started. Okay, let's get to it. Um, what we want to do is we want to come to where the title blocks in the templates folder is in BlenderBim. So once BlenderBim has been installed, you can come here. It goes app data, roaming, Blender Foundation, Blender, your version of Blender. I'm using 3.3 in this case. Scripts, add-ons, BlenderBim, BIM, data, templates, title blocks. And there are three sizes. So we're going to use the A1 title block size, essentially. So I'm going to right-click that. And I'm going to say, open with Inkscape Vector Graphics Editor. So you must have Inkscape installed for this to work, obviously. So I'm going to click that, and then we're just going to wait. Once it's open, you can see that the title block is installed, and you can see that there's lots of information here. Well, it's not too much, but it's a pretty straightforward title block, actually. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to supplant this and just copy our own into this space. Um, but you can see it does some smart stuff. You see these little squiggly brackets. Those are references. So where drawing title is, um, it'll actually look at the drawing title. We're not going to use that today, but in the future we will. So for now, I'm just going to go back to my folder. And I'm going to go to my pre-existing title block that um, I brought from another program. It could be AutoCAD, it could be um, Revit, Archicad, anything. Um, but basically you want to print an empty title block so that that's it in the PDF. And we're just going to right click and we're just going to say open with uh, Inkscape Vector Graphics. And then all of this doesn't matter. You're just going to say OK. And then you can see it's opened. So we're going to go in and you can see I have a whole bunch of details here, but I'm missing my logo. So one of the things I want to do is put in my logo. So I'm going to grab everything in this oh, um, by pressing S and then we're just going to select everything. And I'm just going to say control C and we're going to go into the other block. And we're going to go into our layers and we're going to make sure that the layers here are locked so that we don't interfere with them. And we're just going to control V and you can see it's been pasted. And then since it is all a one, it should be roughly the same size. I think we're using a much smaller um, border there. And then we just line it up roughly and you see, it looks quite good. I'm just going to center it a tiny bit more. There we go. And then this rectangle at the end, I think is the only thing I want from the original. So we're just going to turn off all of these others basically. And there you can see my title block has been put here. And you're going to want to do this in Inkscape and not Illustrator or something else. For some reason, it doesn't actually work in Illustrator. <laughs> so then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to change some of these values. I'm actually just going to add my logo here. So we're going to go back to my folder here. And then we're going to right click and we're going to say open with We're going to open with Ink Inkscape there. And then we're just going to say OK. And then this is all OK. And then you can see it's loaded. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select this. What you want to do is click on the object. And we're going to go to Path. And we're going to say Trace Bitmap. And then it'll open up on the side here. And then like the default should work fine for a black and white drawing like this. And we're just going to say apply and it turns it into a vector drawing it was initially a vector drawing so i'm doing a lot of nonsense but um yeah that worked out nicely uh unfortunately i think i lost my gray there um but i'm just gonna grab the 
the IFC and I'm just going to say control C and we're going to open up our new uh, title block here and we're just going to say control V and we're going to adjust it so that it's in the middle there and then I'm just going to we're going to use the text tool and make some text adjust this here and then the text tool and we're going to and we're just going to say the IFC architect I'm going to say control A and we're going to change this down to 14. Yeah, I think that's all we wanted to do. And we're just going to zoom out. And then we're just going to say file save as. And we want it to be saved. So I'm just going to put it in title box for now, but we want to save it elsewhere. So I'm just going to call this IFC arc uh, A1. Well, let's start with A1 actually. A1 dash IFC arc horizontal because it's oh, landscape rather. Landscape. Okay. And then we're just going to say save. And then in our templates, it's going to be there. So all you, I just want to make sure that you copy this to somewhere safe because if you reinstall Blender, Blender BIM, this file will will default to the, just these three. So you will lose your custom title block. So I'm just going to copy it, control C, and we're going to paste it somewhere safe, control V. Okay. Um, but now that's sorted and we can move on to the next part. We're going to open Blender BIM. So you're going to open Blender. Once Blender is open, we're going to create a project and we're just going to make something simple. I'm just going to put on my screencast keys so you can follow what I'm doing. Um, so I'll press seven and then we're going to press N and we're going to create a my story drawing. We're going to activate it. I'm going to make it smaller, make it 10 and we're going to go to the tool and we go to the BIM tool. We're going to go to the wall type. I'm going to say shift A, shift E, shift A, shift E. Do a simple door, go to the door type, shift A, and we're going to do a window just so that we have something to use. Okay, cool. So if we go to BIM documentation and we say activate and we say print, then you can see we have a square house basically. <laughs> so if we want this on a sheet, we can go back to Blender and then here it says sheets. We can say load sheets and you can see because it's in that templates folder, it is available there. So we're going to select it. We're going to say plus. Then we're going to, we're going to open this. And then we're going to use this button to add the drawing to the sheet. And then we're just going to say create sheets. And then you can see our drawing is added in the corner. And all of our details are there. Thanks for watching. I hope that this was helpful. Um, it's essential to have a title block as an architectural office. Uh, if you found that interesting or useful, you can check out more at the OSARC community page. This was made using Blender, the Blender BIM add-on, which is powered by the IFC OpenShell. And the community that we're involved in is the OSR community. I will provide links in the description and you can check other videos to follow along. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.